when you think about you know getting your team aligned and getting them to to perform at a higher level you probably think well what could i do better around accountability that would help us i've seen this happen many many times before with my clients um, there was no accountability inside of a sales team that i worked with recently and we put one meeting a week in there where we reviewed their pipeline we looked at the wins we looked at the things that were moving forward we used a google document it's a very simple structure and it changed everything now were there other things that happened inside of our experience together absolutely but i will also tell you that it was something that we found to be very valuable welcome to grow think tank this is the one and only place where you will get insight from the founders and the ceos of the fastest growing privately held companies i am the host my name is gene hammond I help leaders and their teams navigate the defining moments of their growth. Are you ready to grow? Today, we're gonna to talk about accountability. Accountability at an individual level and also at a team level, just to help you take it to the next level, creating accountability inside the culture of your company. When you think about you know, getting your team aligned and getting them to, to perform at a higher level, you probably think, well, what could I do better around accountability that would help us? I've seen this happen many, many times before with my clients. Um, there was no accountability inside of a sales team that I worked with recently. And we put one meeting a week in there where we reviewed their pipeline. We looked at the wins. We looked at the things that were moving forward. We used a Google document. It's a very simple structure and it changed everything. Now, were there other things that happened inside of our experience together? Absolutely. But I will also tell you that it was something that we found to be very valuable. So we took that and we were able to um, apply the same concept to the operations team. And when we did that, we were able to really connect with, with uh, more accountability across the company. So I'm going to uh, pull up a little bit of my notes here. You may or may not know this. I've been writing a book lately. I'm not going to share the title with you, but it, it really is meant to be the most practical leadership book that you could read. Hopefully that excites you because most books are around theory and it's not really applicable to the day-to-day -day work, but I'm going to share the tools and frameworks I use with my clients. I'm going to put everything I can in this book. We're trying to make it short. We're trying to make it really powerful. And I want to share with you um, about accountability because this is what I was working on earlier today. You know, a lot of people have a little bit of hesitancy inside the accountability. They think it's either not their job or they wish people would just take ownership of it. And, and I get that. I really do get the fact that you want people to not have, you don't have want to have to hold them accountable. You want them to just do the work. Um, and we have a pace of change that's happening so much that that just isn't possible all the time. But a lot of times the, the, there is lack of accountability because we lack clarity in what we expect people to do. We're not putting deadlines with things. We're not really connecting with them on, on what we expect of them. And so you want to make sure that you are being clear in doing that. So we're going to talk about you know how to specifically go through that, but just unpacking some of the things that get in the way, fear of conflict. If you fear conflict, then you're not going to ask people if they finish the project. You're not going to, um, you know, you're going to avoid those conversations. And that's dangerous because that creates a lack of accountability across the individual and the team aspects. Um, if you're not following through consistently, if you're not, you know, you know, holding people accountable, which means, did you get the work done? Is it r the right standards? Um, are we on budget? Then you're, you're going to miss out on the opportunities because there's something playing in your head. If you're not creating the system to follow through and then, if you don't trust people, then you're not going to hold them accountable. You're going to, I've, I've seen this with many managers before, not necessarily CEOs sometimes, but they will come in and say, well, they didn't do it. So I just jumped in and just did it for them. Well, that's a problem. It sets a tone for, for things that are going on. So how do you create and establish a culture of accountability? Well, you define clear goals and expectations, and then you document the work. These two go hand in hand, but you've got to make sure that you are documenting the things that are done. This could be an email. This could be in project management software. This could be in, in you know, some type of, of task management that you do or uh, project organization, but you've got to set clear expectations and you've got to document the work. You've also got to provide feedback for people so that they can improve. You got to check in with people, you know, maybe before the deadline and just see how things are going. Um, makes me think of, of, uh, you've got to you know manage people not on the you know just when the deadline comes but you know throughout the process and give them feedback 
um, you, you don't want to wait too long to give them feedback either. You want to make sure you're doing it very close to the point which you notice something's out of alignment. The example I use inside of coaching I'll share with you today is my son's been learning to drive and he ran a stop sign. Do I wait until he gets home to tell him he ran the stop sign or do I tell him immediately? I know your answer. It's immediately, right? And so you want to do the same thing with your employees. You want to catch them in the act if you can. You want to truly can be as close as possible. You don't want to wait. You don't want to build the case. You don't want to, you know, wait to the quarterly review. And you certainly don't want to wait for the yearly review. You want to give them feedback early and often. Encourage open communication, just making sure people are comfortable sharing these ideas. Even if things they can't get done, encourage them to come to you and tell you that. Uh, you want to make sure you recognize good performance. A lot of leaders, CEOs especially, because no one's recognizing them for the things that they're doing and they think others don't need it. I will tell you that's wrong. Recognize and reward the people for doing good things and you will see more of that. They appreciate it and it would be a signal to others of what's expected recognize people and then hold the team members accountable. Meaning if they didn't get it done, then you sat down with them and you clearly talk about these things. Now, typically this is not done in a group format. This is done in the individual coaching conversation. If you're doing that on a weekly basis, uh, more on that later. But you know, if you're creating a culture of accountability, you want to make sure that you are addressing these things. You understand them and you're doing them on, on an ongoing basis. We use things like Google Documents and Google Sheets. We have all kinds of tools that we use um, at an individual and a performance level. I will tell you the simplest thing you can do is have each person have one or two, maybe three metrics that they are tracking on a week-to-week -week basis. And, and they can send you an update of where they are and you can see where things are out of alignment. There's each one of my people have those on my team. And then I would encourage you to think about what that is for the people that you lead that report to you directly. Well, that's our time here. Hopefully you appreciate these solo episodes as much as I love giving them to you, giving you insights from my, my forthcoming book on uh, leadership to be the most extremely practical book on leadership that you've ever read. Uh, stay tuned for more of those as we move forward. Uh, when you think of growth and think of uh, leadership, think of Growth Think Tank. As always, think of courage. We'll see you next time.